Hey everybody, this is H-Hog, and I'm gonna do something different this time. Yes, I'm gonna do an actual Let's Play. <laughs> um, this is gonna be of the Nintendo GameCube game called Animaniacs The Great Edgar Hunt. Now, I've only recently finished this game myself, but I haven't seen much about this game on the internet at all, so I figured I'd do a Let's Play about it myself. So, yeah, um... I'm just gonna get this started. Um, if I... There. there. Alright, well, let's get right into this. Show you the intro movie, like there. Hi, everyone. I'm outside the Warner film lot where tensions are high today as we count down to this year's Edgar ceremony. Little is known about the nominations this time around, but one thing is for sure we're in for a night of real showbiz pizzazz. Last year, Richie Rich Guy cleaned up with his smash hit Puff Puff and Two Little Pigs, winning Best Picture, Best Director, Best Actor, and Best Pig. This year, the box office has been rocked by the phenomenal success of the low-budget horror movie Slugs, starring none other than Terry Hatchling. But are we in for any shocks? Will Ben's softy pale toes burst into tears again? Heck, all I care about is the free buffet. <laughs> this is Mary Heartless for Entertainment Tomorrow, signing off. I gotta love the voice acting in this. It's, 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 it's all basically the voice actors of the cartoon show. They got the same voice actors. They're not. They're not voice uh, sound alike. My dear Thaddeus, it is perfectly simple. Either you give me a ten-picture contract with unlimited budgets, or I melt down your silly Edgars. You won't get to have your little party. I don't care what the mayor has to say, nor do I care what the public has to say. Yes, that is. It is blackmail. You don't. I'll call you whatever I like, cheese for brains. I have your edgars. Enough of this flim flam, Thaddeus. Yes, I tire of it. You have eight hours to give in to my demands, or I make myself the world's most expensive set of golf clubs. Goodbye. Ah, Mixie, I love it when a plan comes together. <laughs> I love it when they steal lines from her characters. Not that button, you clumsy oaf! Because I changed the aspect ratio of the video and kind of missed out on the part where the Warners jump out of the tower. That's all you missed. Anyway, let's get into this. I think I've made a safe game here, which has a kind of proper safety. Start out with Yakko. Oh. And... Ah, I seem to have misplaced my siblings. Have you seen them? What do they look like? Well, Wacko is insane and doesn't wear pants. Nah, doesn't ring any bells. And Dot is cute. Oh, yeah, I think I saw her over by the Wild West soundstage. You probably heard about the Edgar ceremony tonight. That's why it's kind of quiet around here. Well, what you don't know is that all the Edgars got stolen. And if they don't find them soon, there won't be no ceremony. Now, of course, that's confidential, like, so don't go blabbing to the press, okay? My lips are sealed. Yes, uh, that's why he just told the first random character he ran into. But, oh well. Anyway, um, 
We got these collectibles, they're um, film canisters. Um, they're basically, if you play Banjo Kazooie, they're kind of like the musical notes. And you get your ground pound, jump, triple jump, attack, running attack. You can pretty much break everything. Apples. Mm, That's your health. Uh, these movie canisters are basically there to help you. Yes, what the doctor ordered. Help you uh, get more Edgars. And the Edgars statues are, well, to continue the Banjo Kazooie comparison, they're like the Jiggies in this game. Now you see the in the heads up display, you see to the left, you see the film canister so here. And flash a little when there's one of those coming. First place we're up to is the Wild West State. We don't need any requests to get in here, so. Keeps the doctor away. No, I don't need them. Ow. Oh, yeah, I can't get hurt. Thank you. Now, even though all the Warners jumped out of the water tower together, for some reason now they're separated. You don't get any kind of backstory as to how they got separated, they just are. So, first order of business for Yakko is to find his sister Dot. And she is in the Wild West. So let's get in there and see what we can do. There we go. So collected Edgar's to the left and script pages. There are six script pages, and I only need them for one more at the, at the end game. Now the collectibles here, they turn from movie canisters into gold nuggets. Every stage has their own collectible. So yeah, for a Wild West, since it's kind of um, what you call it, appropriate for the level. We've got these gold nuggets here. Hello, nurse! <laughs> and we got the letter A. Um, you got the letters A, C, M, E, Acme, which, um, if you collect all of the four letters in one level, you get an extra apple on your health bar. Which is pretty useful. Now, let's see what the sheriff has to say. Well, hey there! Newcomer, welcome to Calamity Canyon. Sheriff Marion's the name, and it's my job to make sure there's always law and order around these parts. So, what do you got in this one horse town? Besides one horse, I mean. Well, there's the saloon, of course, but you'll need proof of age for anything stronger than a sarsaparilla, sonny. <laughs> oh, I should warn you about old Ike the Undertaker. Don't pay him no attention. He always chases new folks around, <laughs> measuring them up. That's because new folks don't tend to last too long around here. <laughs> Before you go, Sonny, I should let you know there's a bounty out for the Moody Clan. 
The Moody Clan? Didn't they break up after their drummer died? They're a bunch of no-good, troublemaking varmints who should be locked up. That's who they are. Well, isn't locking up no-good, troublemaking varmints what a sheriff does best? I'm not getting any younger, Sonny. My legs ain't what they used to be, and my aim's been off ever since that bad batch of Kentucky red-eye old Ike sold me. Shoulda known better than to trust an undertaker. So I put up a reward for any man that can round up all the Moody's for me. When all five of them are behind bars, I'll pay up. Well, if you pay up, I'll round up. Look out, Moody's. Deputy Yakko's a-coming. Oh, then. Now, we've got these guys, the Moody clan, just running around. They're not really harmful. They just run around acting crazy. And then... They get stunned. And when they get stunned, you see these little green stars around their heads. And that's when you can bop them on the head and, yeah, bag them. This applies to a lot of enemies as well. A lot of enemies you can only hurt, like this snake, when they're stunned. one right over there. Sheriff? Hey, you Sheriff? Well, my, my. Ain't you the rootin'est, tootin'est gunslinger around? No, that's your 70 yeah, Sam. I could only sling a non-threatening blunt instrument. Being a cartoon character and all. Looks like I'll have to look elsewhere for my new deputy then. Here's your reward. You earn yeah, it. Yeah, if you got no gun, you know that. If you a carry on down deputy. this road, you'll get to the train station. The last train to Dry Gulch leaves shortly. Yeah, come to think of it, I saw a little girl who looked just like you being tied to the tracks over there not long ago. <laughs> Thought nothing of it though. Plenty stranger things happen in this town, and every man to his own is what I say. Thanks. It's been real. Real creepy, that is. That is a real good brutality for a sheriff, isn't it? Every man to his own. Anyway, here's where the guy's situated. The next area opens up. Now, normally I would... Ow. I would immediately go about doing more missions, but... I thought we'd never break for lunch. Uh, no. Gold lumps. Nuggets. <laughs> now, what's done? Oh, yeah, I can go into this room, of course. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. Oh! I almost forgot. <laughs> I forgot this last time as well. You have to actually pick the Edgar up. Yes, I would like to say. <laughs> this was a mistake I made last time as well. That is, last time when I tried this out. For the... That's my preparation. Mm, Go! Yummy! Pinky in the brain, in their mouse cage. Gee, brain, what shall we do on this level? The same thing we do on every level, Pinky. Try to take over the world. How are we going to do that, brain? We will use the world's strongest magnet to strip the shoes from every horse in the town and thereby monopolize the transport system. For he who controls the smithy controls the West. 
Use the movement stick to control the magnet and push the jump button to grab the shoes. Aim low, Pinky, and don't let the shoes drop until you are over the trap door. Right. Mini game time. Three, two, one, go. Just gotta aim the beam of the magnets so you can steal the horseshoes, fill up all the pegs at the edge of the window there. Preferably before time's up. But this mini game isn't that hard, so. There we go. And that's our second adventure at the bank. And with this, we have enough Edgars to go find Dot. Because you need two Edgars to get into the train station. Way too small to be hiding that cactus in. like a silent movie. I'm sorry, the GameCube emulation is still pretty laggy. No matter what you can play. So the sound might skip out a little bit. Bonk on the head! Mm, yummy. Slidings are pretty useful in this. Ow. Oh. 
forward. And there we go, sabotage the train. I don't know how bopping the smokestack destroys the entire train, but I'll roll with it. It's amazing what the special effects guys can pull off these days with just a crummy rolling oil painting, a dry ice machine, and a $50,000 computer. <laughs> you can quit with the card thingies now. There we go. Okay, that's the change door, which you can use to switch between characters. Now, right now, that's not of many, not not of any use yet because all characters can do the same thing at the moment. But later on, you get new skills, one for each character, one for each one, I love, or sister. And... Yakko actually gets his last. So. First skill. Anyway. I sure hope someone stopped by mini fridge. Let's just switch switch to dot for now. Just to mix things up a little bit. Basically, you've got the same skills as we as Yakko for the moment. Wow! So much better than my personal trainer! Oh, that works. Oh, that dried up fuzzy thing on the bottom of the bottom. Ouch! Okay, over here you need scuba gear to get through, so it's time to go to the Ah, in reservation. There we go. Oh, 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 oh. Death is really kind of meaningless in this game, to be honest. The only thing it's a hindrance to is that you'll have to do boss fights over again if you run into them. But for regular gameplay, your health and life is really kind of non consequential. Right. Can't really do much here yet, but let's just talk to the enemy chief just in case. Hello, I'm like Big Chief Sitting Bison. You know, I've never seen a bison actually sitting. They must need one big chair. My name was like totally passed down from my ancestors, okay? Technically, I am Big Chief Sitting Bison the Sixth. Well, I'm Yakko the First. Nice to meet you, Chief. May I call you Chief? Yeah. It sure would save time if I didn't have to say your entire name. Yeah. Okay, you call me Chief, dude, and I'll call you he who looks like clown face dog. Yeah. Well, it does have a certain ring to it, but it would take me a lot longer to sign my checks. <laughs> like so much for small talk, broham. Like big chief sitting bison totally needs your help, dude. Okay, but if it's about your clothes, yeah. I have no idea how to get those stains out. Yeah. <laughs> no way, dude. It's not about the threadage. We need help performing yeah. our rain dance or we like face a totally gnarly drought. <laughs> See, we're like one warrior down, okay? And we can't finish our dance until we fill the gap. Yeah. <laughs> totally yeah. 
If you can find a grass skirt, your yeah. sister can totally learn to limbo, and she can help us finish our dance. <laughs> That'd be tubular. And where would I find that? Grass skirts are us. Ours is not to reason why. Ours is but to dance or die. <laughs> like a thirst, bro. You make yeah. absolutely no sense, Chief. But I'll see if I can help you out. Hey, if you can cross the Great Lake alive, you should, like, totally visit the Gold Prospector. He's rad. He'll help yeah. you. If I make it alive? Yeah. Thanks for the pep talk, Chief. It's funny, because these first cutscenes were made keeping in mind that you don't have to have unlocked Dot yet to get them. So that's what I was kind of wondering. I right, see these little paw marks here, which is what you need suction cups for. To yet again continue the Banjo-Kazooie comparison, that's like the Claw Clamber boots. But, yeah, as the Indian chief just said, we'll need to find the gold prospect for that. More energy. And he's actually not too far away. And yeah, as the as the chief mentioned, the grass skirt is Dot's own technique, which she can only do. She can limbo and get under uh, tight passageways, which the other siblings can. Snake, snake. I can already swim, but I can't dive yet. That is where we need to go. I've got 125 nuggets, so that is one more Oscar in the bank, um, Edgar in the bank. And that opens up the next area, as soon as we can reach it. Spooky movie. There's actually not that much more to do over here, but all we gotta do is talk to this here crossbow. Eddy Doody Traveler, what brings you to old Skookum Jim's mind? That person with the controller in their hand, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> well, stranger, you ain't gonna get far in these parts unless you know how to climb. You do know how to climb, don't you? Over the backs of all my friends to get to the top? Sure. <laughs> okay, Sonny. Then go climb the face of that rock there. Okay, I think this is where they bring in my stunt double, right? Could somebody get my agent on the phone? <laughs> you know as much about climbing as I know about alchemy. <laughs> well, here, let me share a little bit of prospector knowledge with you. To climb things, you need yourself a pair of these. Super Grip Suckers, available at all good minor 49er stores. This is my spare pair, so you can keep them. Now that you're the proud owner of a pair of Super Grip Suckers, you can use them to climb any different surfaces. You can't go climbing any old surface, though. I I look for these special marks. They'll tell you that the surface is sound and won't crumble on you. Uh, practice using your suckers by climbing up that wall. Don't be afraid. Just run into it and let it come natural-like. So, pretty much every wall is brittle, except for 
where the pull marks are. <laughs> By his logic, anyway. Just dive into this mine, and we can't really do much in here yet. You see the timer tick down, which is we need night vision goggles to keep going here. But I just picked up another couple of nuggets just because I can. Three. And there's the E. There's the e in the bag. I keep saying in the bag a lot, don't I? Okay, this here is a digging patch. We'll need Wacko for this, but we won't run into him until a bit later on. Alright. I think we're pretty much done with this level for the moment. So, let's see. Woody Clown round up. Yeah. Rain dance. We need the grass skirt for that. And Bucking Champion. We need Wacko for that. So, yeah, we're done here. We can just exit the level. And I'm just going to wrap up recording for now. And next time. We're going to do the scary movie. Alright, see you later.